Court King's ready to go. So are the balls. First pitch swinging, and off we go in Knoxville. Now, the big news, it is not Evan Russell, the fifth-year senior, catching for Tennessee. That news broke a little over an hour before the game. It's Charlie Taylor, the redshirt freshman who starts. The word from the team, Evan Russell not available for tonight's game. They said Tony Vitello will address his status in Tennessee's post-game press conference. Tidwell rocks and deals in the air left field toward the line and Stevenson makes the catch and the inning is over. Now faces the Lipsius who swung down the right field line a fair ball. All the way to the wall in the corner. McIntosh's throw not in time. It's a first inning double for Luke Lipsius. Tony Vitello said it five or six different times in practice. It's going to be rowdy. Espinal makes a jumping catch at second on a line drive from Jordan Beck, and that is a crucial second out for Alabama State. Yeah, it started with a good pitch by Puna right off the end of the bat to Beck, but how about the athleticism by Espinal? Up the ladder he goes. And, and why wouldn't you be confident with 53 wins? Gets under this one, left side of the diamond. And Christian Lopez hangs with it. So a scoreless first for Breon Puller with a rub. 2-2 to Lewis. Cut on and miss. 96 from Tidwell. His first. He's at 30 even right now. This is pulled to right on a line, and it drops down in front of Beck and gets past him. Espinal around second on his way to third. And he is there sliding safely and fired up. After the two base error, 1 0 to Lopez. He's on the ground, left side, and Lawson throws it out. And a good stretch by Lipsius. Bailing out his shortstop at first. We've seen plenty of that. Great glove work from Lipsius. Because it's a two pitch mix for him, but it is elite stuff. Fast yeah. ball up to 98 miles an hour with a wipeout slider. And an elite bat, Trey Lipscomb. He singles to start the bottom of the sack strikes. He's trying to get ahead. Pull toward left center field. That's a base hit. And it splits the gap to the wall. Tennessee strikes first here in the second. Thanks to Jarrell Ortega. Pooler worked so hard to get ahead 0-2 and not where he wanted that 0-2 pitch. It never really got to where he wanted it. Left it kind of middle end. Ortega turns it around out the left center field gap. And scoring all the way from first base is Trey Lipscomb with the first run of the game. Ortega had the RBI double. Cut on and miss. Good slider from Pooler to strike out Taylor. 1-2 again. Cut on and miss. Second strikeout for Tidwell. Now Ian Matos, first pitch swinging, serves one into center. And the nine-hole hitter and center fielder for Alabama State as the second hit of the ball game. One, two. Strike three calls. Lead Tidwell bookends. The super turned up when I first heard about it early in the year. Then all of a sudden he goes on the road. He's up to 103, 104 on the road. So when you go up. 3-2, runner goes, it's cut on and missed. Throw down a second is not in time to get Lipsius, but a big second out on a strikeout for his opener of the Knoxville Regional last year. Swept on the ground first fair for Lewis to tap the bag and end the inning. It's a zero for Bre 3-2, strike three calls. You know, what would be where would your team be? I mean, they mentally or physically tired. Man. They certainly don't look like they are. Solo shot, Jarrell Ortega here in the fourth. Jarrell Ortega, RBI double his first time. How about this? Straight away center field with his 16th long ball of the year. Fastball center cut, and he doesn't miss any part 
elbow there. How about that swing? Sent it out to center field. Right off the. Boy, Lawson turned on that. It's a two-out single. Pooler deals. Center field. And on the run, tracked down by Matos. Oh, Charlie Taylor. Christian Lopez rolls one up the middle, past the dive of Lawson into center. And line, center field. And right at Gilbert. Struck well, but harmless to Tiff Farm as we go to the bottom of the fifth. Seth Stevenson rolls it left side, base hit. Top of the lineup for Tennessee is on to begin this last of the fifth. Bounced in, runner goes, the throw late. Stevenson uses his speed and swipes it. 1 1. Base hit right field. Stevenson waved around and then stopped as McIntosh got it in quickly. In the air, left field, and Williams comes in to make the catch. Stevenson tags and scores. Three nothing balls on a sack fly from Beck. Fire under Trey Lipscomb. Hit hard left side past the dive of Lopez into left. Second hit of the ball game for Lipscomb to a board. 0-2 pitch in the air. Left field toward the gap and Matos runs it down. Corey King thought he had an infield single. Now he tries to check. He went around. King strikes out, that's five Ks for Blade Tidwell. And high pitches for him is 84. Cut on and miss. Back-to-back -back Ks for the first time. Is 3-1. Just misses the outside part of the plate. Lead off one. Harris deals. Head hard. Left side, base hit. Burke round second on his way to third. First two have reached for the balls in the sixth. On hold, one more just scores, drops it down. Burke to the plate, he scores. Charlie Taylor contributes, and it's 4-0 Tennessee. Well, Tony Vitale is pushing all the right buttons right now. You hear a lot about Tennessee and the home runs, and why wouldn't you? They lead the country, but they can do this to you. They can manufacture runs. They can play a little small ball with you first and third and nobody out. You get Charlie Taylor to play. who doesn't have a lot of at-bats this year. So he says, you know what? I want you to push one on the ground. I want an insurance run here as we get towards the back end of this ball game. And Side, base hit. Lost into the plate. Williams will not throw there. And Lipsius comes through again. Five-nothing balls. They're going to nibble. And they're going to treat him. Get out. And that ball is getting out. Long way to left. And got Crushed by Jordan Beck. Goodness, huh? Turn one around, big fella. And that's what the folks came to see. They came to see the ball leave the ballpark. And you talk about leave the ballpark. This ball's marginal, even a strike. The left fielder, Jabronski Williams, never even moved. That's how far out it went. Big fella goes up the ladder and barrels up a ball right at the top of the strike zone. Watch Lipsius. He knew it. And now Mendez for Drew Gilbert. And this is crushed. Right field to the wall. Back to back here in Knoxville.
Drew Gilbert. He tells Jordan Beck, you know what? I got one of those two. Lefty on lefty. It's a pop up down the right field line, but the ball easily carries out. Carries out. How about that bat flip? Look out in the coach's box. Camden could have thrown a complete game on Sunday, but they wanted to have him available here today. Might not need anyone else. Tidwell is dealing. to right. Wow. I mean, is it that easy? Oh. What's he got? 83 at bats now, 13 home runs. And watch him just simply drop the head on this with some authority. He knew it. When it touched his bat, that might have put a hole in the scoreboard out in right center field. It was like a line drive. Like a Tiger Woods two iron. And now Cortland Lawson walks. On the ground, left side. And to Guzman's throw, not going to get him. They're at the corners. 2-2. Two -two. In the air toward left center. And Mato strips back. Inning over. Strike three called. 94 and a fist pop. He deals. Struck him out. Ben World Joyce with a punch out to end the eighth. Big time D1 coach. In the air, right field by Beck. Go! It is flying in Knoxville tonight. Second of the evening for Jordan Beck. Two home runs, throwing a sacrifice fly for home, just for fun. Four RBIs for Jordan Beck, and he just simply flicked this ball off the scoreboard. I mean, watch it go out, fooled a little bit. You see how the body got out in front, but the hand stayed back, and he just threw the barrel at it, just flicked it out there for a home run. His 16th long ball of the year now. Line toward center, base hit. Tyler McIntosh into center field with one out in the ninth. Three two again. Popped up. Shallow left center for Gilbert. And a 10 0 Tennessee win.